Hi. In this video, I'm going to be talking about something uh, that I have to talk again. <laughs> Before I start, I just want to say, uh, I just uh, want to uh, thank uh, all my recent subscribers that uh, subscribed recently. And, uh, well, I am Ivica and uh, I talk about KEJetronic, about uh, the system, how it functions, and uh, how how everything uh, goes. I'm trying to demystify the system entirely. <laughs> That's uh, something uh, I can say about uh, my channel. What's uh, it, its task? Well, this video is about the mixtures screw. Because there were many, many people that uh, didn't get the point uh, when I was talking about uh, that uh, uh, mixture screw, about uh, all, all those uh, stuff, uh, how you adjust it properly. I was uh, there uh, giving some numbers, for example, it was uh, as I remember, 27.8 mils and something like that. So people asked me, why don't I get that number? And it was like, I don't get the same number. Is it this? Is it that? Well, you won't. You won't get the number I got. I, uh, but uh, the thing, what you have to get is the clearance of 1.9 mils. This. Look. That's what you have to get. This is the free play. Before the lever, this second part of it of the lever hits the plunger and uh, it and the plunger opens uh, the way to uh, the injectors to the fuel up to the injectors to flow to the cylinders. Well, what I actually wanted to say there is how to adjust that. Ay, 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 ay. You know what this is. They call it UPS, and if you, out of any reason, uh, get out uh, of uh, electricity, you have uh, enough time for about 15 minutes. That's how it was when I was buying this, uh, this stuff, and just uh, in order for you uh, to uh, to uh, shut down your desktop. Well, <laughs> it's a pretty heavy. Ow! You see, and uh, what I was doing with this, it is as if someone asked you to measure this uh, this part this ups how much it uh, weights how would you do that you would uh, measure yourself with this device and then without 
the first measurement is uh, uh, the number that is going to be higher and the second one is going to be lower with you without it and when you subtract one from each uh, other from each other however you, you say it you will then get the number how much this thing weighs okay ay, ay, ay. let me put it aside well the same thing we are doing here with our sensor plate we need our caliper and the first thing you do you measure the distance from this part here to, to your weight there and it says here to when the one point six mils here if you see and now as we want to add those one point nine mils that is the ideal gap so we we said 21.6 that's 22.5 and we add now here 22.5 here it's this much and now you measure that distance from above here I already set this to 1.9 as you do if in the meanwhile this sensor plate goes way down for example let me measure it again 22.5 here and now when you put the caliper if this sensor plate goes way down for example for example let it be something like this this is just an example here you cannot see for example like this here the caliper cannot touch this uh, sensor plate the, its weight you must be measuring uh, at the same place its way down as it is way down you put the allen and you turn it clockwise as you I said that the more you turn clockwise the more is this distance going to, to be less the more you turn it counterclockwise the distance this gap is going to be higher and one more thing. Look, some of you put this Allen key and they just uh, started screwing it like this. Okay, clockwise or counterclockwise and they've done nothing okay. 
here. Look. Let me show you. Here. If you can see, <laughs> the distance is the same. So, that's why I told you to watch my videos till the end. Don't skip them. That's why. You can, for example, like this. You can put this Allen and you can screw it in clockwise or count their clockwise as much as you as much as you want what till you fall asleep at one point okay look this is how it's done number one you put the allen key like this number two you press but don't don't push the the key like crazy and then here here as the key as the allen catches the screw then here it moves now harder then you press it I uh, sorry then you turn it either clockwise or counterclockwise You're gonna feel the screw moving harder. And that's it. As simple as that. So, again, number one, press. Number two, as you feel, that uh, the allen key caught the screw then you turn either clockwise or counterclockwise voila that's it so my dear ones if you enjoyed this video then Please don't click uh, the button skip at, it is going to help me a lot. And till the next video, happy Mercedesing. Bye.